This week at Interior. After more than 30 years of political gridlock, Alaska's energy potential is finally being unleashed. On Monday, Secretary Bernhardt signed the record of decision to implement the Coastal Plain Oil and Gas Leasing Program in Alaska. The leasing program is required by law under the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017, which was passed by Congress and signed into law by President Trump on December 22, 2017. Native communities in the region and Alaskans have long supported it as an economic boon with little risk to the land or wildlife. In Saginaw, Michigan, at the Shiawassee National Wildlife Refuge, Secretary Bernhardt announced the continuation of the Trump administration's unprecedented efforts to increase recreational access on public lands. The final hunt fish rule will create 850 new hunting and fishing opportunities across more than 2.3 million acres at 147 national wildlife refuges and national fish hatcheries. This marks the single largest expansion of hunting and fishing opportunities by the United States Fish and Wildlife Service in its history. Secretary Bernhardt ended the week in Green Bay, Wisconsin, where he highlighted the new openings and expansions at a local tackle shop. In Springfield, Illinois, Secretary Bernhardt announced that the site of the 1908 Springfield Race Riot would become the 30th edition to the African American Civil Rights Network. President Trump enacted the African American Civil Rights Network, recognizing sites across the country. This designation formally recognizes the historical and national significance of a landmark event in the fight for civil rights, which served as the catalyst in the creation for the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, the NAACP. The secretary was joined by Representatives Davis and LaHood, the mayor of Springfield, Jim Langfelder, and the president of the Illinois NAACP, Teresa Haley, for the announcement. In the RV capital of the world, Elhart, Indiana, East to West RV signed the Pledge to America's Workers alongside Secretary Bernhardt, Senator Todd Young, and Congresswoman Jackie Wilarski. Under President Trump, more than 440 companies, trade associations, and unions have signed the Pledge to America's Workers, promising education and training opportunities for more than 16 million American students and workers over the next five years. While in Indiana, the Secretary also traveled to Indiana Dunes National Park to conduct a site inspection of their deferred maintenance and meet with park employees. As two of the world's largest offshore oil and gas producers, the United States and Norway have shared information and best practices for many years. On Tuesday, Deputy Secretary Kate McGregor and the Norwegian Ambassador to the United States signed a Memorandum of Understanding to strengthen cooperation offshore mineral, oil and gas, and wind energy activities. And our social media picture of the week comes from Shenandoah National Park in Virginia. Spread over 200,000 acres of rolling mountains and serene meadows, Visitors can find their own adventure as they hike through forests, sit by waterfalls, or cruise the scenic skyline drive. Summer wildlife sightings can include black bears, rare salamanders, white-tailed deer, and over 190 species of birds. That's something to tweet about. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. That's This Week at Interior.